Now I want you to think expanded algorithm. Expanded algorithm makes us think of expanded form. So we think of the expanded form. So 36 times 4, when we do the expanded algorithm, the first thing we do is 4 times 6, which is 24. And then we do 4 times 30, which is what? 120. And then you add them together. That's what we did last year. So this was just 6 times 4, and this was 30 times 4. Does everybody remember that? And when we were drawing it in an area model form, it would just look like this. We would not have to break up the 4 because it's already an expanded form. And we break up the 36 into 30 plus 6. And we do our partial products our area model like this. And we do 30 times 4 here and 6 times 4 here, which would get us the same partial products. It would get us 120 and 24, and we would just add those together to get the answer. Do you see the products came from the same place? Let's try a three digit by one digit. The only thing that'll change is that we'll have three digits here. So we're simply going to stack them in a straight line by place value. Make sure you have this four lined up in that ones place. And again, we're going to do the expanded algorithm, which makes us think of expanded form. Okay? Four times two, class. Eight. Four times 60. Four times 60. Yes, because we're thinking about an expanded form. 240. Make sure you're lining up your place values correctly here. Okay. Finally, what is the three? It's 300. 300 times 4. 1,200. Because 4 times 3 is 12, and then I just add the two zeros from the 300. All I need to do is add these partial products together to get my final answer. And I see the answer is 1,448. Watch, I can do the same thing through an area model. What is 362 in expanded form? It is simply 300 plus 60 plus 2. What is 4 in expanded form? 4. 4. four. So, I'm just going to do 300 times 4 here. 6 times 4 here. And 2 times 4 here. Which is going to give me the exact same thing I did over here, isn't it? The same partial products. It's 300 times 4 is 400. I mean, 1,200. 60 times 4 is 240. And 2 times 4 is 8. It gave me the same three partial products. I'm just doing four times the value of each number. Okay? We do a four digit by one digit. Okay? Let's do 1,362 times four. First things first. I just line them up by place value. 1,362 times 4. I'm still using the expanded algorithm, which makes me think of expanded form. Okay. 4 times 2. 8. 8. 
Now remember, I'm thinking expanded form. The 6 is a 60. So 4 times 60, 240. Make sure you have these numbers lined up nice and neat. This 3 is actually 300. 300 times 4. 1,200. 1,200. Last but not least, this 1 is actually 1,000. 4 times 1,000. 4,000. And then I add up my partial products. I get 5,448. I can show this just as easily in an area model, can't I? Yep. What is 4 in expanded form? 4. four. 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 What is 1,362 in expanded form? 1,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus two. two. Well, I can break down the area of a rectangle by those numbers. Make a spot for each number. This will be four times 1,000. Four times 300. Four times 60. And four times two which is going to give me the same partial products I had here. 4,000, 1,200, 240, and 8. You see, partial products, area model, expanded algorithm, they're all related. They're all wonderful ways we can think about application.